Hello and welcome back to the Ramsey Cole Racing YouTube page. Um, today, I don't really have much to do, but I am going to show you a couple of new things that I have uh, uh, that I've done. Um, for the house type thing, the storage shed, I'm going to call it. Um, I'm bringing in. I'm going to. I'm going to sand a couple of these parts, like this part right here, just because that that just looks ugly, and I don't want that to be shown. But I'm uh, probably going to spend up to. At the most, one hundred seventy-five dollars. Um, at the least, one hundred and thirty. But, um, other than that, everything looks fine. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put this under. But I got the uh, the go kart um, zip tie type thing to look a bit prettier, um, if you want to call it that. But um, yeah, if you're if you're wondering what this is right here, some kid smacked me in the face when playing basketball because he went to block my shot and apparently he missed and his fingernails were long or something. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, well this this is kind of not prettier, but I guess it's better than it was before with all the um wire sticking out and I fixed the spark plug pro spark plug problem. Guess what I used for the spark plug spark plug problem? Yeah, you guessed it. Zip ties. Okay. There it is right there. I just put it in there and it slides on nice and hard. Slides on hard. I just cut myself. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, that slides on nice and easily, I guess, and it's hard to get off, which is good. This is why you don't grab something that has a very sharp end, because that hurts. But anyway, uh, sorry for cussing, I'll probably bleep that out, uh, if I can. Oh my god, I just said it again. Moving along with the uh, thing, basically I don't really have much to say today other than I'm getting someone, still still trying to get someone to um, put, to get me uh, Axel and all that. Um, I haven't really gotten a for sure and I haven't bought it yet or anything, but uh, yeah, he said sometime he's going to get it for me, so um, yeah. Oh man, that's like a paper cut. That hurts. That hurts worse than I thought it would. Sliced my freaking finger open. Oh man. I just want to like freaking punch something right now. Um, anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all I have right now. Um, I should be getting the parts in. I'm running out of days. I said my. My um, due date would be day 30. It's day 25. I need to get a move on it. But yeah, right now, I'm just sitting here in the rain, waiting patiently for parts to come in. Could take a couple days. I don't know. But yeah, this kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping that I'd get it done by day 30. I'm I'm not really sure if I will or not. But um if that guy has the right kind of parts, I could probably get this thing running by day 30 and have it riding around. It's just my brakes will be my feet. So I'll have to drive with shoes. I'm not sure if I said this in a uh, in another video before, but my my uh, my mirror didn't work out so well, so I had to just redo that whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's basically about all I have to say right now.
my axle on this side is an inch and as you can see it's pretty bent it's pretty bent up I'm not sure if you can see that or not okay if you can't see it you're kind of blind but um yes uh, on this side it's straight and all that but it's a three it's a three-fourths so I need to get a three-fourths um, axle somehow and then you know I'm not really sure maybe I'll just switch out the bearings because the only axles that I can find are one inch axles so I guess I'll just switch out the bearings on this tire over here and everything will be fine but also I need to get I need to get my friend to help me out with this um, problem I'm having right here. I need to get these off right here. These things. Because that's the only way I can get a new axle. Because if I get these things off, then I can mount it onto the go-kart easily without welding or anything like that. I'll just take it to my friend and he'll weld it for me. Because I don't have a welder. I'm cheap. To one of my two subscribers, I'd just like to say that, um, well, first of all, thank you for being my subscriber, and thank you for adding me on your friends list, uh, and your name, your YouTube name is American Gamer. Um, I'd just like to answer your question on making your go-kart go about 43, or 40 miles an hour. Um, I answered it on my channel, but I'm not sure if you got it yet. Um, since you subscribe, I'm sure you'll get this faster. Uh, I just wanted to say that to to go faster, you're going to need either a smaller sprocket or a bigger um, tire. And personally, I would go with the bigger tire because it's not as costly. Um, just like you said um, on mine, honestly, you can't you can't get a bigger engine and and go faster like automatically you have to do some tuning and all that because every engine runs about 36,000 RPMs and that's based on um, how fast your go-kart's going to go if you have a 40,000 RPM or what was I saying 36,000 3600 RPMs most go-karts run off of 3600 RPMs just like that one over there um, that one runs at uh, 3600 RPMs it's gonna go because it has like a a 10 inch tire 10 to 12 inch tire it's gonna go about um, it's gonna go about 20 miles an hour because it has the 10 inch tire put an 18 inch tire on it and that thing will go probably around 38 miles an hour if you want it to go faster you can put a 54 tooth sprocket on it and it'll go about 43 miles an hour and um, Basically, that's that's not adding all the weight and all that stuff and all the um, differences. So if you're wanting it to go around 40 miles an hour, I would suggest getting the 54 tooth sprocket and an 18 inch tire in the back. But yeah, you don't have to you don't have to get that. Um, that's just what I suggest if you want to go about 40 miles an hour. Um, and an 18 inch tire, I'm um, not really sure what what I have. Um, that I could compare it to. Let me see. Oh my god. Okay. Set that right there. Alright. Let's see how big this is. Okay. Now, my golf cart's tires and my um, lawnmower's tires are about the same size and they're 16 inch tires. So, this is about what it looks like. Um, right here this is a 16 inch tire you add about two more inches and that's an 18 inch tire and that's I mean that's not too big and bulky but it will give your your go-kart some balls like literally um well not literally sorry I'm, I'm kinda off but seriously that that thing will go fast trust me um also you can get one like this uh, also very big very um non bulky looks good on a, a go-kart I'm assuming but um that's gonna cost you a bit more money 
and the 54 tooth sprocket if you want to get that it's not going to um, increase your speed that by that much but it will increase your speed and um, if you want to just do that see how fast it goes see if you like that you can do that first it's going to cost less if you want to then add some tires on there see how fast that goes and if you're happy with the tire speed at 16 inches 16 inches I, I would start out, out with that if you well no because you can't really um, I, I guess I'd just go ahead and get an 18 inch tire or a 17 inch I mean you're not going to go too much slower with an 18 inch and a 17 inch so I would get that um, but yeah that's not adding all the weight and all that I'm not I, I'm not really certified or anything to add all the weight and figure that out but I do know that you can do um, some type of equation. I forgot what it was. Uh, uh, dang it. I'll have to look it up later and I'll, I'll show you the equation. But I found it in a Northern Tools uh, How to Build a Go-Kart um, book. But yeah, that, that's basically about it. Uh, I hope that was useful information to you, American Gamer. Um... But I will see you all next time on the Ramsey Cole Racing YouTube page. Bye.